you wonderful interwebs, you! It is I, David, sweatiest and least fit of all the Hewlett's here with another Burn and Learn. And let me tell you, I've been to purgatory and I've dropped down through the brimstone and fire of the many levels of hell to dance with the demons because... It's kind of a long, complicated way of saying it. I did 66 minutes on the torture device set at 6, so it's a 666 Devil's, Devil's Workout again. That's like, you know, that's up from 5, and 5 is, 5 is, 5 is, was tough, I gotta say. But 6, 6 is like, exp, ex, is like super casual, fragilistic, exponentially more difficult than 5. 6 is the way to go, I'm telling you. Oh, it would break a lesser man. This is a burn and learn. This is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son, who says he's going skiing this weekend, which is... It's no son of mine. And to enjoy the coming twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane, who I really hope is not going skiing because I'd really like to see and hang out with her. She's kind of an amazing person. I hate exercise, but I like to learn something while I'm doing it. And then I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest, most miserable, and as it turns out, self-indulgent way possible. If you don't see a video, it means I didn't exercise. Aha! Humiliation! If yeah, you don't see a video, I'm humiliated. Actually, if you see a video, I don't know what's more humiliating, the videos I'm making to, to not be humiliated by not doing it? I don't know. Um, you decide. I gotta say, it's funny, I started doing these and people keep saying, like, what, like, what are you doing? Like, people I know will say, like, what, what is, what's with the burn and learn thing? Um, and, uh, and it's just, it's really therapeutic. It's weird. It's like I, I started doing it purely to just you know, guilt myself into doing this stuff. But now, I mean, talking to, well, talking to the plant like I am now or whatever is in my eye line, Mars rover, um, uh, to you is, uh, yeah, it's funny. I just, it's, 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 I find it very, very sort of therapeutic and, and relaxing. And, and I feel, I feel lighter after I've done it. How's that? Um, it's probably just all those in dolphins, you know, flippering through my, through my system. Um, Anyways, what did I learn today? Aha! Did I? Ooh, I learned today. I learned about, uh, well, I've been doing big data. So I've been doing a lot of big data stuff, but all these little sort of equations and math terms and things like statistics, linear algebra, floating through my reptilian brain, uh, you know, the ancient history, through the mists of time. I remember like being sort of yelled at at teachers for not knowing all this stuff. So I thought, you know, I want to go back. I want to revisit this stuff. I want to know what the heck we're talking about before I get into big data. You got to learn to, you know, walk before you run. Jump, climb, fly, I don't know. Um, so I went back, I started looking at Khan Academy. The problem with Khan Academy, not there's a problem with Khan Academy. I love Khan Academy. But it's very structured, and it's broken down in little pieces, which is the smart way to go. Um, but I got 66 minutes to kill. And I don't want to keep thumping away at the iPad, trying to go to the next thing and skipping things I gotta write on and, you know, with the big sweaty thumbs. So um, I found the Organic Chemistry Tutor and uh, I guess it makes sense to be doing statistics and probability and chemistry. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's fun. Thumbs up for me. Um, it's it's great because they're nice long chunks of courses. They just uh, he just walks you through the process of various different equations and mathematical um, um, uh, you know functions and such. Uh, mathematical functions, mathematical problems, I guess. Um, and uh, so I was doing probability. I was doing linear algebra. Uh, all sorts of charts and graphs. It's, I mean, it's just, it's been amazing. So, um, so that's what I did. I, I, you know, it's not the best way to learn math. You're supposed to, math is supposed to be, uh, you know, an active thing. You're supposed to have the pencil out and writing stuff and trying it and doing it and, you know, ingraining it that way. But if you got 66 minutes of hell, why not learn some math while you're doing it? Um, and this is great because it got a nice overview. It reminds me of things. It introduces me to things because there's a lot of stuff I didn't learn. This is the thing. This is what I try to do with the tech bands is like, if you can get math, exciting to kids now it's so much easier for them to learn and get their heads around it than me now with the sort of the burnt uh, maple syrup I have for brains now I just um, you know I love it but I'm sure I could have done this a lot faster when I was a lot younger and faster um, but yeah, great, great course. Highly recommended. And thank you to Organic Chemistry Tutor um, for putting them together because I'm sure you've helped a lot of people. It certainly helped me. It's been, it's been amazing. As I say, I've looked at statistics. I've looked at um, linear algebra. I've looked at probability. Um, I've looked at um, sort of some brush-up stuff. Like there's, a, there's like a, there's one of his courses is just to get you ready for statistics. So it's great. It goes back through a bunch of math stuff and some um, sort of more basic algebra stuff. So just, yeah, thumbs up for me. Um, and uh, thumbs up for me. Speaking of which, Check it out. Aha! Care package arrived yesterday, I guess. Um, this is from repcord.com. Uh, let me just make sure I got this right. Repcord is spelt R E P K O R D.com. These fabulous folks heard me ooing and aahing about their, um, uh, it was their, um, 
their camo filament. Like it's this sort of these different com combinations that look like camo. Um, while we were doing the Australian Bushfires uh, 1440 uh, Makers uh, stream, so the, the, the charity thing that we did a little while back, uh, raised over $10,000 for the Australian Bushfires Relief. Amazing stuff, guys. Shane did an amazing job with that. Um, and they, so they heard me, they heard me, you know, getting all goo goo and gaga about this stuff, and they've sent me the package. I don't know what's in it. Um, and I'm kind of, it's a bit like, you know, when you sort of save that little last piece of food that you want, the, your favorite taste of food, the bombouche, as they would say. This is my bombouche. I can't wait to, uh, to, to crack it open and get into it. Um, and they were kind enough to send this to my uh, monkeys and parrots uh, office address. And uh, I picked it up and uh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Um, but I have something to talk about about packages because uh, that by no means am I saying, you know, anything negative about RefCore sending me this stuff. I thank you so much. I would pay this no matter what because I, I, I truly appreciate what, you're, um, what you've sent me here. And I, and I do very, very much appreciate any gifts that, that I get sent. Um, uh, but here's the thing. When it crosses a border, they just whack you with massive amounts of duty and taxes and, and, and brokerage fees and processing fees. This paid 40 bucks. I had to pay 40 bucks. For the, for the UPS person to give me this. Um, they would not give it to me until I paid them 40 bucks. And uh, it just drives me crazy. that That's 40 bucks that could have been spent on, you know, Tech Bandit's pizza or, or more filament or something. But it's the government going to take it instead. Why? Why for crossing an imaginary border? Whatever. Anyways, so that ticks me off. Um, but not to take away any in any manner or way from the from the from the kindness of sending me this stuff. Thank you, Repcord. Uh, feel free to keep sending me stuff. I'll, I'll sign for it every time. Um, but I just wanted to warn people because I, I know a number of people have been talking about you know maybe I could send you an old CNC that my dad had and stuff. And I'm like, oh god, I would love that. But as soon as it gets to the border, they're just gonna slap some ridiculous amount of money on it. And and I don't want to go broke accepting gifts. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, I look, the tech bandits are run entirely on the kindness of strangers on, um, on gifts and, and sponsors and, 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 um, donations and stuff. And so I so, so appreciate the stuff. I just want you to, to be aware of it. If you do want to send stuff because, uh, because it, 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 it can become, it, it can become crippling financially to, to receive gifts. Um, anyway, so there you go. That's it. I've enough of that whining and complaining. I cannot wait to open it up and I shall social media the hell out of that as soon as I do. Um, thank you. Thank you so much to RevCord for that. Um, uh, and uh, again, no affiliate or anything. I just, these, they were just kind enough to hear me ooing and aahing and, and sent it my way. And I, I so, so appreciate that. Um, what else? Oh, this morning, a little late in my burn alert today because I've been working on my techlets, which is the Tech Bandits newsletter for my Tech Bandits uh, sessions. And uh, we had a little thing I called Counter-Strike because it was a strike this, last week. So I had the kids over to my house instead. Uh, sounds like I may be doing that again this week because, no, next week because there's a strike again then. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just insane. The striking stuff right now is just a, it's just a nightmare. I, I feel sorry for anybody whose kids are in the public school system here right now because it's just a it's just a zoo um anyways um uh so tech bandits i do a little sort of debrief i talk about what we did what we learned things i learned um cool little observations that i've made and then i just throw some cool stuff i found on the internet your way um i invite you to join the uh the mailing list it's um you can go to thetechbandits.com it's called techlets there's a link there you can click on it you can actually see i've got a link at the bottom you can actually look at old Techlet newsletters and, and uh, see them for yourself. See what you're getting into. So I please uh, uh, please check that out. I invite you to join us. Um, and then for our Patreons, I do like a little sort of like a little some more customized one for that. But I do like art and photos and like, it's 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 fun. It's like it's my own little arts and crap as I would call it. It's not arts and craft. It's like arts and crap. Um, and uh, and I really uh, yeah I just thoroughly enjoy that. So. Um, Yes, I think that's it. I think I've exhausted both myself, probably you, and everything I had to say. So um, until we geek again, sweaty or not, here I come, or there I go, and cheerio! <laughs>